So today we're going to be talking about Bibles. So we're going to compare and contrast and I even have some for children. So if that interests you, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started on the Bibles. I'm going to leave the children's for last, but I will try to put some timestamps. So if that's what you're interested in, you can go straight to that. So let's start over here. Here's one you might not have heard of. And I have what I call my YouTube pastor, John Barnett, and this is the Bible that he used. So it's cool to get a study Bible that a pastor would use. So I have it here. This is the Mac Arthur Study Bible. It's really thick and I am holding a page in here. So let's talk about it. So I got this on eBay. And so if I can find it, I will, I'll have links to everything that I can down below. So this Bible has the actual text in the New King James Version, and then it has a commentary on the bottom. So when you're reading, if you may not understand something, you can look here. And then it has more in-depth studies. So it may have a map. And before the chapters, it'll tell you a little bit of background. And it even breaks down the different things that you will see in each chapter. So it is very helpful. And if you really want to get into studying and understanding more, this is definitely a good one to look at. The next one is another really cool one. And this is by someone that does have a YouTube channel as well called Living Waters. And this is the Evidence Bible. This is another New King James Version. So in here, he has commentary. And he has little tidbits of information, some evidence to support what you're reading. And so it can really have the Bible come alive. And so here he has uh, for 1 Corinthians 8, he has conscience is given to us by society. So he has questions and, object and object objections here. So all of his stuff is geared towards going out and spreading the gospel. He's all about that, which is what we're all supposed to be about. But when you have his materials, he's always going to give you things so that you can talk to other people that may not know anything. And so common objections, he's giving you answers here and evidence. So that is a good one. Next, let's talk about interlinear Bibles. So this one is for the New Testament. This is Greek and English, Greek to English. So it has one side, if you can see the Greek, and on the other side is the English. This one was the personal size. I like that it's parallel. Let's see. And again, this is just for the New Testament because I have the Old Testament here. So here's what it looks like. And hopefully you can see it a little bit better. But it's great if you're reading something and you want to see exactly word for word what it said in the translation, you can go and reference that. So this is the NIV. And then we have the Hebrew. So this is the NIV into linear Hebrew to English. Now, when you're looking at into linear Bibles, this one with the Hebrew, and the English, usually you'll find NIV or KJV. And this is what this looks like. So all under each word, you can see the original. So it is pretty cool. So it's word for word on one side with the letters or characters. And then you have the translation here. So this is and you have to be careful so this is only genesis through deuteronomy this is volume one so if you collect or getting all of these it will kind of run you kind of expensive doing it this way on the old testament but because the old testament is much longer you can see five books compared to this one and you can see even this one's bigger but it's still thicker so yeah that's something to consider okay so this is a newer one that i got and this is the King's James Version, but 1611. 
So when you're in here, you're going to look at it with Old English, but I thought it would have been harder to decipher, but it's pretty easy. Um, it's just pretty much spelled the way you would um, say it. Another thing about this Bible is that they use Roman numerals. So sometimes it takes me a little bit just to decipher what the number is if I want to reference it. This one I actually picked up at Barnes & Noble. The only thing about this is, so, the 1611 version has the Apocrypha, or parts of it. And so when I was reading, I noticed that one of the chapters, and if I can remember and go back and link it, one of the chapters was kind of cut off. It had 60 verses, and it only had 30 in here. So that's something to consider about this version. So, along with that, if you are looking to read the Apocrypha or other books that were once part of the Bible. Here's one. So this one is the complete Apocrypha, 12 Apocryphal books plus Enoch, Jasher, and Jubilees. So what I really love about this is the size of it. And there's lots of space that I can take notes. So that's why I'm going to keep this one. So when I'm just looking in these books, I can take notes and have it bigger, easier to reference. The only thing about this, and this was pretty cheap, $20 or less. The only thing about this is I saw that there was typos, but because I have something else to reference, it's not a big deal. But, you know, that just kind of takes, you know, um, validity if um, you see a typo in there. So something definitely to consider it had a bunch but like I said I'm keeping it just for study the next one this is the message um, and so this was given to me by my mom before I went to college she gave me these two um, but the, the message you have to of course be careful and especially with something like this where this is more along trying to make it understandable and this was the author or the person who wrote this version is making it so his kids would understand. But you have to be careful, especially for the Lord's Prayer, things like that. You can see where the wording is very detrimental. But this may be good if you read something you completely don't understand it. You might want to read this, read some comment commentary, read, and as you keep reading and studying, things will become clear to you but that is this one and i love the small size so this is something you can carry with you and just to as as i said talk to people share the gospel with people this is something that you can have easily accessible will fit in a purse or a bag the next one this is a new king james version now you don't have to of course have one that's fancy and decorated that's just what my mom gave me but a lot of people find or say People who usually don't even read the Bible much, they say that it's hard to understand. So even going from King KJV, King James Version, to a new King James Version, this is just an easier read. And so that's why I wanted to show this one. And I love the size of this one. So if I can actually find this one, that would be so cool because I did get it um, almost a decade ago. And um, But yeah, this is it. I really like it, so I'm going to check this out and see if I can find this one I think this is beautiful for like 18 like I was when I got it so the next one this is a study Bible and first off I love the um, design of the outside now the thing I really love about this is when you're reading it will lie flat that's one of the features about it let's try this one yeah so you can see the page moving so yeah so it's just just for studying purposes now on each side it has lots of space for you to write this is actually a note-taking Bible and the KJV and so I think this is really good to have to study and to see what you said um, notes I go all the time and read what I said or look at some of the verses I put for myself to look at um, especially in the book of Revelations, I took a lot of notes. And so you can go back and you can remember what you said. And not only that, you can also have a journal to go along with it, of course. But this is just really good if you are, again, someone asks you a question about a subject, you can go ahead and reference that pretty easy. 
now. Okay, next we have the Cypher Bible. This is what I just got. So it was 500 bucks on Amazon. So I went on eBay and I found it for 125 for new. That was the cheapest. And then there's some that's like new and everything. But my husband said, you might as well just go ahead and get it new. So I said, okay, no arguments there. So this has all of the previously canonized um, canonized texts, all of the books of the Apocrypha as well. So the thing that I really wanted this for is because it has the sacred names and titles. There's a total of 87 books in here and it also has over 3,000 transliterated Hebrew names and places. So you'll learn Hebrew because that's what is written in here. It's beautiful. Um, how they really break down each chapter, the origins and whatnot. Um, it also has the names of people here in it. So you'll know Eve, from starting from Eve, you can see the names. We also have the Hebrew here and it tells you how it translated the names. And then it has some of the common Hebrew terms that are in here and their interpretations but then and also when you're reading on the bottom it kind of reminds you which is really good and so this one is broken down a little bit differently so they have a website it's called cypher.net and you can go there and you can actually get some tabs because the way they broke it down it really makes sense and they explain even the importance of names i'm really getting into this this is something I was looking for and I didn't know it was out there. So, as I said, it also has maps and family history. Let's look inside of it and show you guys. So the chapters are also in the original names as well. And then in parentheses, it lets you know what it is. Let's see if I can find a page where like this, you can see maybe you can see on the bottom that there is some clarification on what they are so they also have a custom carrying case that they have on their website they have worship music and custom apparel so um i did check out the apparel wasn't really interested in it but um the music and other things i definitely have to check it out and they have an app so can't um you afford to get one get your hands on it get their app and same same it's definitely worth the price i'm so happy and excited about it okay so let's go ahead and go to the children's books okay so i'm on a daniel's fast and i have a video actually showing what i'm eating so if you're interested in that i'll link it all right so here I have, and I got this thrifted, so it was for $3, and normally it's $18.99. So this is from Zonder Kids, and this is the Bible with the NIV. So if you're reading an NIV translation, as in this, or the other one that I have of the Interlinear, they can too. And there is some pictures um, in here that's not something that I go towards. I just felt like they were innocent enough um, and so I just like having it for a child and it just has you know like a child's picture and the text is a little bit bigger it just makes it a little bit a little bit of a better read um, for your children so definitely get that one and then if your children are younger like mine here are some other things I thought about something that's up here. I'm going to get it. This is a book that is really good for kids. It's called Made in Heaven. Man's Indiscriminate Stealing of God's Amazing Design. So this is a book that has lots of pictures. And it basically is talking about the way that Yah created the earth, the way he created the creatures and the organisms, and how we've used that to create new things, new inventions. Look at some of these beautiful decorations. So this was on livingwaters.com. This is by Ray Comfort as well, with the Evidence Bible. That author often made this one. He has 
tons of books. I really love his work. He also has a channel of Living Water, so do check it out. Okay, so let me hurry up. We have the Children of Color Storybook Bible, International Children's Bible. So this is more towards a kid that's maybe like eight or, you know, in school age, definitely. Each passage in here has about four pages and it does have really nice illustrations. I even just love this on each page in the heading or in the columns. Beautiful illustrations. And the stories seem to be pretty accurate as they happen so far for what I'm reading. So, so far, so good. I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. So if you guys are interested in that and I'll try to find it and link it if I can. Then the last one we have is the Children of Yah Storybook Bible. This is by Archbishop Bishop Desmond Tutu. I really wanted to love it. I don't love all of the illustrations. Some of them, maybe I'll find it. They're all pretty much, there's so many different illustrators. So you never know what you're going to get with the illustrations. But also some of the verbiage that they used wasn't necessarily accurate or how the depiction was. Like, see, I could have done without this. This is a more pagan, the sun um, kind of worship thing. So take it with a grain of salt. But this is more like for smaller children, like toddlers, because everything is one or two pages, really short. And it does have nice illustrations for the most part. But again, it's by all different people. So you may like one person's illustrations more than another. So do what you will with this. It's really good if you can go to a local bookstore and find one and look through it. This one I did purchase online, so that's probably why I had that trouble. So that is all, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed all of these and let me know what your recommendations are and what you're reading. And take care. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you check out my playlist down below, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I flat. That's one of the features about it. Whereas another one, um, which one this one does, but some other ones like this one. I guess I'm not going to be able to show you guys what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, it just lays really flat. It's easier for studying. Let's see.